This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. Missouri Hunter Education course is required for any hunter born on or after January 1st of 1967. Now to learn about some upcoming classes that you can take, we have Rob Garver here from the Missouri Department of Conservation to break it all down for us. How are you doing? Great, how are you? I'm doing great. So we have several courses uh, taking place all throughout the state of Missouri, and we'll post all those dates so you can find out which is the closest one to you on our website at ktvo.com. But first, kind of talk about the class. What can someone expect when they take it? Uh, to take the course, they need to take a uh, home study or pre-course mm -hmm. first, and they can either do that online or they can go to an office and pick up uh, a student manual, mm -hmm. uh, or you can also get online and have a student manual sent to you for, okay. if you prefer. Mm -hmm. uh, once you've completed the uh, home study portion of the course, you'll need to sign up for a skills session, mm -hmm. uh, and that takes about four hours of time. Um, you'll, and as you said, uh, those dates are coming up and all over the region, all over the state. Um, find a location, sign up for it, um, and then you'll come in and it's a lot of hands-on activities. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'll take a 35 question exam at the end. Okay, so you know, you just said it's a hands-on uh, experience and then you'll take the quiz at the end. Does it cost anything to do this to get certified? How does that work? Uh, the only cost associated with it, it would be if you take the online version. Mm -hmm. uh, the host company that does our online course charges a $15 fee for the certificate that mm -hmm. you'd need to bring to the uh, skill session. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's a free course. Okay. And why does somebody need to be hunter education, like hunter educated uh, certified in order to hunt in Missouri? Uh, well, it's it's mainly for safety. Okay. Uh, it's it's a it's a state regulation that we have. If you were, as you mentioned, born uh, on or after um, a certain date, you need to take the course uh, after you've turned 16. Mm -hmm. uh, between the ages of 11 to 16 is when it needs to be taken. Uh, if you want to hunt uh, by that time, anyone of any age can take the course mm -hmm. if they decide that they want to start hunting. Uh, and if they're not sure if they want to start hunting, we also have an apprenticeship program okay. uh, so that you can go in and buy an apprenticeship permit where you hunt with a, uh, someone that has hunter education as a licensed adult uh, for a year to try it out. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can decide whether you want to take the course or not. Okay. Now, once you take the course, I know that every year you have to get a new permit for that year. Do you have to get recertified or is this good for the rest of your hunting career? The course is, the course is good forever. Okay. Um, each year you would buy annual permits uh, depending on what type of hunting you wanted okay. to do. Okay, now where can somebody go to find more information if they are interested in either learning more about the class or where they need to go to either download a pamphlet or anything like that? Uh, if you, you can stop by any of the regional offices or you can go on our website at mdc.mo.gov. Uh, halfway down the right hand side there's a link that says Hunter Education. Uh, from there it'll walk you through it. Uh, if you're looking for a course you can type in your zip code and it will take you uh, right to it. Okay and of course we have a screenshot of that on our screen right now. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at ktbo.com. Now is there a size limit to the class uh, when it becomes full? You know I, just in case somebody is watching and you know the earlier they register the better. The earlier the better. We typically take uh, 40 uh, okay. students in, a, in an average class. Some of them are smaller depending on the venue. Okay. Uh, but sign up sign up early. These classes that come right before spring turkey season and then again the classes that come right before uh, fall firearms deer season, uh, they tend to fill up pretty quick. Okay. Uh, so we do have them all throughout the year. So if you miss one, it's not a, a, a big deal. And, and I also always stress that if, if it's a child that's in between the age of 11 and 15, but they don't have to take it when they're 11. Uh, mm -hmm. You've got several years in there to get that course taken care of. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much for all the information. What we'll do is we'll post everything on ktvo.com, and of course, we'll link up information with Missouri Department of Conservation. Again, thank you so much, Rob, for coming on. Thanks for having me. And we'll be right back.